Hi everyone. Good morning. Hi Chase. Denver. Sawa. That's not how you spell your name, Sawa. <laughs> it's okay, mate. You can leave it. There you are. All good. Who else have we got? Jake. Summer. Cade. Of course, Cade. Matthew Shacklock. Hey, mate. Big Zave. Riley. Oh, we've got Evie. We've got both the, both the Warriors. Jesse Salmon. Awesome. Morning, guys. Good to see you all again. Zave, thanks for brushing your hair, mate. Good job. <laughs> Good to see you guys. All right. So we are back into our uh, get up and go session here. We're actually going to change it up. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit this morning and we're going to do our, our strength session just because it is the first session of the week. When you look at our strength program in terms of, uh, yeah, in terms of session A being the strength program. So get up and go. We're going to, this time around, we're going to do uh, the strength session. And then what we'll do is we've got another session tomorrow night. Uh, we've got another session tomorrow night where we'll do our speed and power, uh, which will be sort of our plyometric session. That's Tuesday, 6 p.m. And then we've still got our Thursday, 6 p.m., where we're going to do something a little bit different. So we're going to mix it up a little bit. Um, we're going to do some different skills. We might do some skipping. Uh, we might focus on a specific movement and really hone in on the technique of that. Uh, you know, just depending on, on what, uh, what we're feeling that week, the Thursday night might be something a little bit different. So we've got the three strength and conditioning sessions available to you now. Um, and, and obviously we've got this one this morning. So we're going to go through our strength session. I'm out in the shed today. So if you can't hear me too well, I apologize. It's probably because of the rain. Make sure you've got uh, a drink bottle nearby. Uh, you'll need your minivan to get started. We're going to go quickly through our mobility. So we'll go through our, uh, our quick ankle and hip mobility. So everyone jump up. Uh, have, you, have your drink bottle and band ready to go. But we're going to start with mobility. So I've got... here today, my sort of, uh, my, my plyo box, which I'm going to use as a bit of a guide for my ankle mobility. So again, hopefully you guys can see that. That's a little bit, so I'm going to use that as a guide. I want my ankle, sorry, I want my big toe about 10 centimeters back from the box. And I'm just going to just lean in and bring my knee and try and touch my knee to the edge of that box. Okay, so you can see that front knee here. I'm leaning forward. I'm putting all that weight over my toe. Putting all that weight over my toe and trying to, trying to stretch out my Achilles. All right, so we're going to go about three on, on each side. Three on each side, so we're pushing into that, trying to keep our heel down. And then I'm going to swap legs. So I'm doing my left leg now. Three on each side. All right. I should be spotlighted on everyone's camera now. So we're going to do our hip mobility now. So we're going to come back and line with my box. Okay, I'm bending at my hips. I'm glitching, am I? Oh. Could be because of the rain, guys, so I apologise if I'm a little bit glitchy. Hopefully you guys can still make out what I'm doing and the weather eases up for us. So, hip mobility. So I'm bending at the hips, hands under my toes. Okay, I come forward, I've got my hands under my toes, I bring my butt down, okay, I've got my elbows, I've got my balloon I've got my elbows on the uh, inside of my knees here. All right, I'm, I'm reaching my right hand and twisting up and I'm deep breathing. Come back down, have Luna on the way down, and then I twist to my left. Come back down and jump up. 
Good job, guys. Grab your mini bands. Hopefully, you can hear me a bit better. How you going, Sam? Good. I finished my glute bridges, so. Awesome, awesome. So, glute bridges, mate. So, you're into. Uh, what do we got next? Yep. Sorry, guys. Young Sam Shinsky started a little bit earlier today because he's got to get to school. So, you've got push ups now, mate. Two sets of as many as you possibly can for each set. All right, okay, cool. Everyone else, we've got the crab walks with our mini band. So grab your mini band, jump it around your ankles. <laughs> mini band around your ankles. We're going five this way. One, two, three, four, five. Five back this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, do that twice through. One, three, four, five, two, stay down low, three, four, five. All right. Good job. All right, we're into our squats. So band around our knees now. Band around our knees. How's everyone going? Can everyone hear me okay? Am I still glitching? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me all right. All good? I love it. Here we go, squats. So, band around our knees. We're doing two sets of everything today. So we're back to this first week. We're gonna add some different stuff in, so you're gonna need to pay attention, but we're back to our second, uh, our, 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 our first week. So what the program will look like, we'll be doing two sets of squats, two sets of glute bridges, two sets of push-ups, two sets of our lunges or our split squat, two sets of planks, two sets of calf raises, uh, and then we're going to finish off with some skipping, all right? So, bench squat or just free squat now, two sets of five. Okay, so again, we've got the band around our knees now. So, just above my knee. And we're sitting back. Count to three on the way down. One, two, three. And explode it up as quickly as you can. Here we go. Five of those. Three, two, one. Slow it up. That's two. Three, two, one. Slow it up. That's three. Two more. Three, two, one. Slow it up. Four. One more. Three, two, one. Slow it up. Have a quick breather. 30 seconds. And then we're into our second set of those. I'm going to watch everyone do the second set. Good work, guys. Make sure when we're doing our squats, our knees track in line with our toes. Okay, so we don't want knees going out like that, and we don't want knees coming in like that. All right, we want to we want to have that tension on our good knee, on our bum. That's why we've got the band on, because the band's going to try and pull our knees in like that. We have to resist it just naturally. Good job, Zach. All right. Once you've done your two sets, grab a drink. Get your second set sorted. If, if uh, I don't think we've got many in today's session, but if we've got any sort of under 16s or any under 18s that are in the session, other than Sammy, feel free to grab an extra weight. Grab a dumbbell, grab a kettlebell, whatever you've got. So again, we can add some resistance to our squat by holding a, a dumbbell, holding it like a goblet here in our chest. Okay, we can add a little bit of resistance and we're still doing our squat. I've just got a 10 kilo dumbbell there. You don't have to do that. And if you're just starting out, body weight, body weight is going to be fine. And adding resistance by adding a slower downward phase is going to be enough for you guys to challenge you now. All right, so we're into uh, Denver. You're going. Good job. Keep going. That's a perfect squat, Denver. Hold well on, mate. As a few of us finish off our second squat, Second set of squats, we're going to go into our glute bridges. Sammy, how are those push-ups going, mate? You might be jumping up into your lunges now. Lunges? Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Um, two sets of ten. Yep, perfect. Yeah, so lunges, yeah. Uh, no, for the lunges, you've got two sets of six on each leg. So two okay. sets of 12, if you like. Yep. And again, you can yep. add resistance if you've got it, mate, but otherwise you're all good. So, our glute bridge... 
if you're outside or if you're in a shed like me, you'll need a mat. If you're on a hard floor, you'll need a mat. Keep our band around our knees. So we need that band around just above our knees. And again, we've got, we're going two sets here. We're going to do two sets of 10. I know that the, uh, I know that the, the, the program doesn't say 10. The program says we're just doing six, but we're going to go to 10. Um, you guys know how to do this movement well now. I think you need a little bit more of a challenge. I apologize if my dog attacks me. I'll try and get a few sets in before she attacks me. So again, you want your feet, you want to be able to twist side to side with your shoulders off the ground and touch your heels. Okay? From here, we push our hips straight up and then we come down. Push our hips straight up and then up. If you're gonna, if you're gonna come and attack me, attack me from this side so I can see what I'm doing. Pushing straight up. So we're going two sets of ten, guys. Then I come over here. Sit there. Sit there. Sit. Sit. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Pushing the hips up. Okay, I'll go to that side. Okay. Again, starting from the neutral spine. So flat back. Okay, we don't want to round the backs. All right. And we push our hips straight up. Hold at the top and come slowly back down. Push through your heels until you get a straight line from your shoulder. All the way to your knees. Straight line from shoulder to knees, squeezing those muscles of your bum and coming back in. Again, making sure when we're doing this, our knees aren't coming together. So our knees should stay tracking where they are. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come and watch you guys do your second set. Good job. You can probably get your heels in a little closer, Denver, but that's pretty good. Sarah, good distance. Matty Shacklock. Matty Shacklock, you're doing some extra sit-ups in between, mate. I like it. Summer bodies are made in spring. Good job, Matt. Bring your heels in a little closer, Matt. Summer, that's perfect. Great job. Zave, good. Having a, having a breather. Good job, Jesse. Good job, Evie. All right, guys, second set. I'm going to just keep an eye on your form, but it all looks really good. Second set, then we're into our push-ups. Here we go. Job, Zach. Squeeze up. Good job, girl, Cody. Double thumbs up from Zach. Tough day for Zach, mate. Commiserations. The 76 has got swept. Sorry, mate. Big Cam Reason. How you going, mate? Perfect. Perfect glute bridge, mate. Well done. All right, Sammy, what are you up to, mate? All done with the lunges? Yeah, just all done. Yes, I did top. All done with the lunges, good lad. Yeah. All done with the lunges. So you're into a plank now, mate. Have you got your phone nearby? You can keep time. You got two two sets of 60 I'm... seconds. Okay, I'm on my phone here, so I'll just go off the zoom app and go into the clock until the time. Uh, just, that, so. You can just, just count it out, mate. One Mississippi, two oh. Mississippi. <laughs> okay. No, use your phone. Use your phone. Two sets of 60. Uh, two sets of, yeah, 60 seconds. Good lad. Okay, guys, so if we've done our second set of our uh, glute bridges, give us a thumbs up. We're into our push-ups. Two sets of glute bridges. Well done, guys. Everyone's getting the hang of those now. They're a really good exercise, guys, to build those into your warm-up and your physical preparation before you do anything else as well. They're just a really great exercise to get in the habit of. So now we're going into our push-ups. So we can take our bands off our knees. We're done with our bands for now. And we're into our push-ups. Two sets of as many as possible. So last time, last time we, we finished off, uh, we had, I think, around people were doing three sets and getting around 80. All right, so today the aim is in our two sets, the aim is in our two sets to get 40, somewhere between 30 and 40 really good push-ups, like really strict good push-ups. If they're on your knees, that doesn't matter. That's fine. If they're on your knees, perfect. If they're on all fours, perfect. What I'm really looking for, it's easier to see from behind, is I'm really looking for that movement there. Okay, so elbows, just a little bit of daylight between my elbows and the side of my body. I don't want that. Okay, that's too much daylight between my elbow and the side of my body. So as I'm pushing up, I just want that little bit of daylight here. All right, so we're going to aim for between 30 and 40. If you're doing it on your knees, or good. If you're doing half and half, that's fine too. Here we go. 
I'm going to do the first set with you and then come and have a look and I'll try and do the second set. Here we go, I'm going for 20 here. If you're using a mat, the mat is actually a pretty good guide as to where you should have your hands. So for me, I might be a little bit bigger than some of you, but I've got my pinky right on the side of the mat and both my fingers are pointing straight ahead, exactly where my head is pointing. And that helps me keep my elbows in line. Three. Wow, that burnt a bit. Zach got 60. Good job, mate. Good work. Keep working, guys. Keep working. Good job. If you've done one set, have a break. Shake it out. I know my arms are a bit fatigued. First thing in the morning, it always takes a little while to get that, get that second win. All right, second set, whenever you're ready, do it at your own pace. Do it at your own pace, and then we're into our lunges for our split squats. Sammy, how are you going? You might be up to your car phrases. If you've done your two sets of uh, 60 second plank. Keep going guys, everyone else is doing push-ups. Good job, Riley. I can't see your feet, mate, so you could have your knees on the ground. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they count. Nah, I'm joking, mate. I trust you. Good job. Get that I chest. I just finished up. The... Just finished up, Sam? Yeah, the plank. So car yeah, phrases the... now? Yeah, yep, do the uh, calf raises, two sets of 15. Girl, Cody, just get those hands under your shoulders, mate. You've got them out a bit too far, you're almost Superman. Bring them in under your, under your shoulders. That way it's gonna be, if you get your body weight over your hands, it's gonna be a little bit easier. You're putting a lot of stress on your core there, the further you have your hands forward. Good work though, really good. I like those little like, full, full push-ups, that's excellent. Good job. Good job, guys. So yeah, calf raises, Sammy. Good job, Denver. Calf raises, Sammy. And then we're going to finish off with some skipping today, Sammy. So I don't know if you've got a skipping rope. If not, we can just, we can just do the pogo hops. All right, guys. Moving on, we've got our lunges or our, our split squat. Uh, so we've got two sets of six on each leg of those. So if you're still finishing off your push-ups, that's okay. You're doing a really good job. I'm going to start with my right leg forward. Actually, I'm going to jump on my mat, start with my knee down. Again, remember, looking at me, we want our back straight, okay, for this movement. All right, we can add some different aspects to this later in terms of leaning forward, in terms of having our foot further back like that. But right now, I want to see a pretty vertical shin, maybe a little bit of forward movement like that, but I don't want to see like that. I don't want to see you on your front toe. That, that front foot has to be flat on the ground the whole time. Okay, if your knee goes forward a little bit, that's okay. But we can't come up onto our toe like that. All right? So here we go. I'm going to start from this position here. Coming all the way up, making sure I'm squeezing that left glute when I come up and I'm working through this front right leg. All right? Six on each leg. Here we go. There's one, two, three. That's my balance. Four. Five, I've got that toe, like I'm, I'm working from that toe there, almost like a sprint to take off. Five, six. Swapping legs, coming down and starting again. Always start from the ground up on these, because it gets you in really good habits in terms of where my feet placement is. So you guys can use your own camera as a guide. I know if my foot's there, that's a little bit too close to my other leg. I need to get my front foot forward. Use it as a bit of a guide. You'll, you'll start to understand the shapes that your body should make before you start these movements. So we should have a nice square, sort of 90 degree angle in our front knee. And you can see I've got almost a 90 degree angle in my back knee as well. Here we go, pushing up. Six on each leg. Have a rest if you've already done your first set. I can see a few people saying done. Have a rest and do your second set. Five, six. Great job, guys. Keep working. Doing well. We're going to finish with some skipping by popular demand. 
the skipping. Could I do the poker hops? Because I went outside and my roof was enough to actually do. Looks like it's not. It's, um, you want yeah, the, sorry, the rope your roof's fallen off. No, it's not. Yeah, it's it's um not tall enough for the skipping. Like the oh yeah, I can of, see ya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's cool, mate. So, just so, do some pogo hops. So we're going we're gonna go. We're probably gonna finish off with two lots of sixty seconds. So just chuck a timer on, and you're just on the spot. Again, just pogo hop skipping on the balls of our feet. Okay, cool. Yep, sixty sec. Two sets of sixty seconds. Okay, guys, we, are, we should be into our second set of lunges. If not, looks like a lot of you are done. If not, we're gonna be going into our plank. So you're gonna need our mat again. We're going into our plank, hold two sets to 60 seconds. That's why I've got my phone. Make sure you've got a mat or you've got the carpet nearby somewhere. You've got something soft you can get, get down into a plank position. Or if you're hard as nails like Denver, you'll just do it on the concrete outside. That'll be a legend. Oh, here we go. We are down. 60 seconds down. How are we going? Ready to go? Someone's camera still moving around. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. 60 seconds. Stay locked in. No butts up. No butts down. Lock them in. Lock your glutes. Lock your glutes. Keep your elbows under your shoulders. So no elbows forward like that. We want elbows directly under our shoulders. 15 seconds down. Here we go. Control your breathing. Okay, we're going to work on that a little bit more in this next block of uh, training. <clears throat> Remember to come back to your breathing. Big deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Twenty seconds to go. Good job, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Keep working, hold that position. Hold that position. Three, two, one. Good job, come down or come up on your knees, whatever you like, have a quick break. Twist through your spine, stretch it out a little bit. Whew. Doing really well guys, we've got, after this we're doing our calf raises and we're gonna finish with some skipping. So if you've got a skipping rope, and you're outdoors and you've got space to actually skip, great. If not, pogo hops are fine as well, like Sammy's doing outside. I'm not sure if I'm gonna quite have enough space in here, so I might be doing pogo hops, but I'll see what I can do. We're gonna work on skipping a lot more as a part of our programming as well. So we're gonna build some skipping into our warm-ups or to finish off our sessions, depending on which session um, and depending on how we're going for time. So today, we're doing it at the end of our session to finish off. Um, on, uh, on tomorrow night session, we'll probably do skipping to begin the session to fire up our central nervous system. Here we go into our second set. Everyone back down into position. Back down into position. Here we go for another 60. Three, two, one, go. Hold that strong position. If you need to do this on your knees, that's okay. I prefer to see you do it properly on your knees. Than to, than to be here and to be constantly like this uh, or like this, sagging down. Just start on your knees or start on your toes. And if you have to come down to your knees, that's okay. It's the same as the push ups. Always challenge yourself. If you can do some on your toes, even if you can only do one or two on your toes, then you can, then you can always come down to your knees for the last 10 or so. Okay? That's another way that we can add resistance to this. Oh, I think I'm blown up. Maybe if I stay silent, you won't. 20 seconds, how are you going, Sammy? Done? Yeah, good, I did by, uh, two sets of 60 for the pogo hops, so. Perfect, mate, all done, mate. Get a stretch, get a foam roll, cool. get warm down, and you're all done. Yeah. Cool, thanks, Jared. Three yeah, seconds, guys, day. thanks, no worries, Sammy, see you, mate. And come down, yeah. good job, see you, mate. All right, guys, well done. That's our two sets of our plank. So we've got our calf raises. Grab a drink if you've got it nearby. We're making pretty good time. Calf raises, so if you need something to lean against. Uh, if you've got a chair, something to help you balance. Okay, something to help you balance. I'm gonna use, 
I'm going to use this pole up here. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to use this resistance band. I'm going to bring that down just to help you with that. Okay. Another thing, like I said, we're going to start. I'm going to start building in little challenges into this program. So now we're doing single leg. So. It's two sets of 15, 15 on each leg. All right, so we're gonna to start to feel the burn a little bit in those calves. So when we're doing our calf raise, I'll do the reverse here. Okay, we're on a single leg, so I'm gonna start on my right leg. I'm gonna have my left knee up off the ground. All right, and I'm just pushing up as high as I can on that right leg. Pushing up as high as I can, coming slowly down, up as high as I can. Slowly down, okay? 15 on each leg. Here we go, 15 on each leg. Pushing up, slowly lower that heel back down. That's five. Six, seven, Luna, three more. Eight, nine, ten. Keep working. Fifteen, all right. That's fifteen on my right, and I'm fifteen on my left now. I'm going to start to burn a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 15. Woo. Two sets of 15 single leg calf raises are no joke, guys. Woo -hoo. Keep working. We've got two sets. Two sets. I'm going to come and check, check out your form. Looks like everyone's doing a good job. Good job, Riley. All the way up. Slowly lower your heel down. Zach, you can't possibly be done two sets already, mate. Remember, it's not a race. It's not one set of 30, it's two sets of 15. Good boy, there you go. Good job, girl, Cody. You got the best setup of everyone, I reckon. You're a great gym, loving it. Well done. Great work, guys. Good job, Jesse. I like the balance there, Jesse. Good. Don't need a chair or anything, mate. Just working on that proprioception. That's where we're going to get to. Cam Vries is very resourceful, mate. Stretching out your quad while doing a calf raise. I like it. Good job, good job Chase. Up onto that toe, mate. You're doing some kickbacks, I like it. Good Nick, good Jack. Good job Jack, big Jack Andaloro. Good to see you, mate. Up onto the calf raises. So we're into our second set and we're gonna finish with some skipping. All right. Job Denver, job Sarah, good work. All right, guys, so once we've done that second set of calf raises, we're gonna finish off with some skipping. If you're outdoors and you've got a skipping rope, feel free to grab it. If you don't have a skipping rope, that's okay. Luna's starting to get a bit frustrated now. She wants to play. All right, I'm not sure, I don't have my skipping rope out here, so I'm gonna do some pogo hops. We're gonna do two lots, two lots of 60 seconds. Way now. It's really, pogo hops are actually a really great way if you're not confident with skipping to actually build that movement and start to understand just that, just that on your toes bouncing movement and then we can eventually add the rope in. Okay, and we add the movement of our wrists and we add the rope in and we're, then we're jumping over the rope and then we can add some different techniques to skipping. That's what we're going to build on as well over the next coming weeks. So. Here we go, 60 seconds. Everyone get some space for doing pogo hops. Two legs, we're on both legs. Three, two, one. Here we go, 60 second pogo hops. So we're on our toes. We're on our toes. Just make sure Luke is not gonna knock over my iPad there. Get the ball. Good job, good job. Here we go, coming up on the 30. Let's go through the legs. Good job. We plan that. Here we go. 20 seconds to go. Stay bouncy. Stay bouncy so it's trying to explode off the ground. I'm just trying to do my ankle by dropping the ball under my feet. 
little bit of shit out. I can't jump that high. The ball's not going to get under my feet. Here we go. We've got 10 seconds. Stay bouncy. Stay explosive. Three, two, one. Good job. Well done. We've got one more set. So we've got our heart rate up a little bit to finish off again. If you've got a rope and you're outdoors, you can use the rope. Here we go. We're going to finish off with our second set. We're not going to have too much of a break. 10, 15 seconds. Oh, excuse me. Here we go. Back into position. Back into position. Two legs. Slight bend in our knees, but not much. Pretty stiff legs the whole time, but with a slight bend in our knee. But we're not bending our knees, coming down into a squat each time. We're staying where we are. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. One, let's go. I've got hops for 60. Let's finish off the session. Good job, good job, good job. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. You can, you can add a couple in there if you want to. Bounce as high as you can. Okay. Because at some point with our skipping, we will go double unders. Okay. When we get really good at skipping, double unders is where you just get whack, whack. And get two in in the one jump. Really tough. Here we go. Coming up on 30. Halfway. 30 seconds. Good job. Keep going. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I like a couple of high ones. Hopefully, Bruno doesn't take me out. A couple of high ones. Back to some low quick ones. Back to some low quick ones. Here we go. 15 seconds. So, if we're adding the rope, we've had the wrist movement. We don't move our whole arms, we're just quick little movements with our wrist. Five seconds, three, two, one. Woo. Great job, guys. Awesome session. Okay. Quick foam roll if you're going to do it. If you're going to do the foam roll on your glute. Glute. So, again, I've got my right ankle behind my left knee, and I'm rolling that right glute back and forth. On my roller, okay, three or four rolls on each side. We're just slowing our heart rate down now. Now I'm, now I'm doing my left glute, so I've got my left ankle on my right knee. And again, back and forth, getting into that hip as well. So getting all the way back into my hip. Oh, oh dear. Bit of tightness in there, so I stick around. If I've got tightness, I'm going to stick on that spot for a little bit. And just breathe through it. Oh, we might do our ITVs. I've got a PVC pipe out here using a PVC pipe in the gym. Lou just put her ball in there, I think. Why oh, not? I bet you put your ball in the pipe. She's just curious. All right, ITV. So we're going down the side of our leg here. We're going down the side of our leg here, if you can see. Sorry if Lou's in the way. Okay, look at that. Hey, that's enough. Uh, uh. No, sit, sit. Okay, on the side, rolling all the way from the side of our knee up to our hip. <laughs> Other leg now. Other leg, unless we're going to choose it off. Here we go. Other leg, and then we've got, <laughs> and then we've got calves. Then we're doing our calves to finish off. So, I need a little bit more range of motion through that side of my leg there. I've got my, see I'm doing my left leg here, I've got my right leg over my body just to take some of the tension off because I've got a harder bone roller today. Alright, we we'll finish off with our calves. So roll it down your legs, you can do both calves at the same time, like so, or you can do one. At a time, you just stack your ankles on top of each other, cross your legs, and come across. I can't figure out why Luna's so curious about this PVC pipe. Maybe she's just never realized it before. <laughs> oh, back and forth, calves are a really good one, especially after doing our skipping and our calf raises, just to get that fluid moving around in, in the uh, build up we've got there. Ooh. Oh, 
All righty, and we'll finish off there, guys. Finish off there for today. If you'd like to do the mobility again, if you'd like to do the mobility again to finish off, that's a great idea. Remember your calves. Again, bringing our knee to a wall, stretching out the Achilles. You can do the old push over the wall stretch. Um, and we've got our hip stretch as well if you'd like to, but we're pushing on past half an hour now, so I'm going to finish up the session. I know a lot of you guys will need to get to school. Guys, we've got some changes to our schedule for this next four, week of, four weeks of training. Tonight, there's a girls only train with me. So every Monday, there's a train with me session that's girls only. Um, Samara, Samara Hill is leading that session tonight. She's one of our star players with our NBL1 women's team. So if you guys would like to tune into that, jump on tonight at five o'clock. Um, it'll probably have to be an indoors one looking at the weather. Then have a look at the schedule. We've got plenty on offer. We've still got tomorrow night. I'm gonna take you through a strength and conditioning session. Wednesday morning now, Cassie's gonna do hoops fit on a Wednesday morning. So you can get up on a Wednesday morning and get a good sweat up, doing some ball handling and doing some uh, cardio. Um, Wednesday night, there's a 16s and 18s, a referee course. Thursday night, I'm back with the S&C again, strength and conditioning, something a bit different. And then one of our new classes, which I'm really excited about, is uh, Friday morning, which is body and mind. We're going to do some Pilates, we're going to do some yoga, um, and we're going to do some guided meditation, which is going to be a bit different for some of you guys, but really, really important, really powerful stuff to be practicing and, uh, and to be... Uh, building into your preparation at, at even at an early age. That guided meditation is really powerful. Um, and then Friday, we've got to train with me and then we're back to our Sunday. So big week of stuff if you want to join in. Um, hope you're all doing really well. Uh, it's great to see you all again this morning. And, uh, and I'll see you again tomorrow night, basically. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you almost every day. So tune in, guys. Keep doing your schoolwork. Um, stay in touch with your teammates, with your coaches. Be good to your parents because they're your teacher and your parents and your trainers and whatever else right now. Have a great day. See you guys. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Thanks, Jared. More than welcome. Thanks. See you guys. See you, Matt.